This case is called cervix atrophy, and I think I'm going to try to show you why. Well, the first thing you'll notice is that this is not a tissue section. This is simply a smearing of cells. Uh, this was an exfoliation of the surface cells, the surface squamous cells chiefly, of the cervix. And it is stained with a certain stain that is named after a very famous person by the name of Dr. Papanicolaou. This is a pap stain. And the reason why it's called atrophy is the following. As surface squamous cells mature on the surface, they go from these cells with very large nuclei, like here and here and here, they mature towards the surface to these cells with very small nuclei and abundant cytoplasm. So in the basal cells, the NC ratio is high, and in the more mature surface cells on the surface, that NC ratio is low. Well, the chief hormone that determines the uh, numbers of these cells is estrogen. So in a woman who is... Um, premenopausal and has a lot of estrogen, the predominant cell are these squamous cells with very small nuclei and very abundant cytoplasm. In a person who's postmenopausal and estrogen is low, the maturation does not occur too well, so the predominant cell are these basal and parabasal cells with very large nuclei. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Most of these other small cells are inflammatory cells. There's a neutrophil, there's a macrophage. There's probably a couple of neutrophils here. Here's, either, here's a basal or a parabasal cell. Here is another one. Notice that there are very, very few surface squamous cells, and that's why this slide is very appropriately termed atrophic. Some people say that the ratio between the surface cells and the basal cells on a pap smear is the very best indication of the woman's estrogen level. And some people say it's even better than if you did a serum uh, estrogen test. Uh, please notice this is atrophic simply because the predominant cell are these basal and parabasal cells with large nuclei and small pla uh, cytoplasm. Also note that I'm not trying to train you here to be little uh, cytotechs, but please note that in, even though some of these cells are big, uh, they're fairly uniform, they're not particularly bumpy or dark or nasty. Uh, so sometimes the atrophic smears are confused with atypia because they have a predominance of large cells. But uh, this is a case in which there is no significant suspicion for atypia or malignancy or dysplasia or HPV-like changes. Um, thank you very much.